Are you ready to argue? Welcome to Rise Up, Father Jonathan Meyer. Happy Easter, hallelujah, the tomb is empty. It's a Friday, by the way, so keep your stomach empty of meat. Gospel passage today, John 6, 52, 59, the Jews quarreled among themselves. I just want to say, like, sometimes you got to have an argument, you know? Last year, World Youth Day, I got in an argument with a street preacher, and uh, I didn't even know this, but one of my teens was uh, videotaping it, and just this past January, I was at St. Louis, Missouri for the Sikh conference put on by Focus. And of course, a street preacher shows up because he wants to tell every Catholic that they're going to hell. And like, we have to quarrel sometimes. And there's appropriate places for us to do this. A woman called me the other day and she said, Father, you know, my, father, my husband's not Catholic, but I go to church with him on Sundays just to be nice. And uh, the Protestant pastor there sometimes says some really offensive things to Catholics. Like, should I get up and like yell at him or should I just like make kind of a scene and like leave rudely uh, so that he knows that I'm upset? You know, there's times and places where things are appropriate and there's times and places which are not appropriate. But the reality is, is that like when you're in a public place and people are boldfully, pridefully, arrogantly attacking what we believe not just what we believe, what is evidently clear in Scripture, like evidently clear and believed for 2,000 years, and they're just going to mock that? Mm. We're going to have to quarrel. We're going to have to quarrel. When I was in St. Louis, it was interesting. I was with a brother priest. We had just gotten done. Uh, we ran... 5K, 47 strong, and um, there was a street preacher, and so the two of us went up. We were all dressed in black, but we, we, we didn't have collars on. We had like a whatever. And um, so he didn't know we were priests. And I was just taking him on, quoting scripture, and I noticed <clears throat> a few minutes into it that he was wearing a camera. And I was like, you are intentionally, and I just called him out. I was like, you're intentionally wearing a camera so that you can put me on YouTube and you can make me sound like I'm stupid. I was like, uh, but like, it's, yeah, it's just sad. It's so sad, the division. It's so sad, the brokenness. It's so sad that we're not united on what is so beautiful and so true, and that's that God loves us so much that he wants to be one with us. It's just so bad. So sad. Pray for unity, but also pray for the ability to enter into a quarrel every now and then because Jesus is worth fighting for. I think we can all agree that. So sometimes you just got to tell people, like, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. Jesus is not a liar. He said, my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink. Okay. Yeah. Go to Mass.